Hello to the Shans. Good morning once again and welcome back to Tagum Doctors College. Now let's have our next lesson. So last week we have uh, encountered different ideas of creative nonfiction. Now we are going to have unit number three. So unit number three is about types and forms of creative nonfiction. So let's have lesson number one. So lesson one includes biographical narratives, biography, profile, character sketch, and interview story. So let's go to the first topic. So let's try to explain the key concepts. So biographical narratives can be classified according to their length. So Lahit lahit sila o length. They also have different scope and amplitude. So we have into the full length biography, the profile, the character sketch, and the interview story. So let's go to biography. So as the term implies, so as the etymology of the term implies, bios or life plus graphen or writing. So a biography basically is the narrative of a person's life written by someone else. So in contrast to an autobiography, which is the chronicle of a person's life written by the author himself or herself. According to William Harmon and Hug, Holman's a handbook to literature that is in the seventh edition in England, the word biography first came into use by Dryden. So he in who in 19 or in 1683 called it the history of particular man's life. So kung magsulat kayo ng biography, so it means you are going to write your life, okay? Or a person's life. Like for example, I will I will write a biography of myself. So I will write everything that happened in my life. So it means the history of particular man's life. So and then it is also defined as the accurate presentation of the life history from the death of an individual along with an effort to interpret the life. So as the offer a unified impression of the subject. So for example, my late uh, grandmother, so I can also write a biography about her, especially if I have some experiences with her. So for the example, so you can click the link uh, that is given in your modules, or I will also give you some uh, copies or soft copy for this one so you please try to read about emily jenkins biographical essay okay so let's try to know more about the full length biography so from the word it's emphasized the full length so it means it typically covers the entirety of the features persons existence covering all the significant events surrounding his or her life from wound to tomb. So sa sinugdan ng Diyod, hantod nga namatay siya. And usually includes a family tree and a chronology of milestones and its appendices to further guide potential readers of the book. So technically, the full-length biographies of literary of historical figures are easier to write. So mas dali lang to siya ay uh, sulat tungod kay you are writing what is left behind and what is the highlight of a certain person's life. So it is also easier to write than those of people who have left behind very little written or pictorial documents. So mas maayo kung ikaw mismo ang magsulat sa imuhang kaugalingong story. But uh, kasi mahirap din sa mga like for example for me if I am going to write about the full length biography of my grandma so kato lang iyang gina story sa ako ah, o katong amo um, experiences together ang mao lang tong ako ang ma sulat but when you are the one who is writing about your full length biography so meaning all the milestone all the important things that happen in your life will be written in your full length biography 
So it is also correspondingly the historical of literary biographer faces the tremendous challenge of breathing in, sifting through vast amounts of textual and visual materials to come up with coherent life story. So for example, uh, yung mga uh, yung mga apo or yung mga someone that is left behind sa like for example, I am going to write an autobiography or biography of my grandma. So kainanglan, dili lang siya mugna mugna. Kainanglan po na asay uh, evidences. Like for example, pictorial documents that is being left behind. There should be uh, visual materials na makita. Uh, textual materials. Like for example, na ba siya diary, just like that. Or uh, any other pictorial documents and written documents. So much better to siya because uh, my biography would be very, ano, katuuhan gin siya. This, dili lang gin siya mugna mugna, kung dili na siya, certain evidences. Now let's go to the next biography. So we have the popular biography. So as the term implies, it refers to the life story of a famous and or successful person, a show business personality, a professional athlete, a business tycoon, a political leader, a fashion celebrity, a reigning monarch, or even a serial killer, which is meant to for popular or mass consumption. So si popular biography, guys, this is the life of uh, or life story of a famous people. Like for example, na by nagsulat karon sa biography ni Michael Jackson. So that is one of the popular biography. Or katong basketball player na uh, bago lang na matay. Uh, you can also write a popular biography about him or maybe ang yahang wife ang pwede makasulat sa popular biography of that certain person. So na po tayo mga business tycoon nga bago lang namatay. So they can also or their family member can write a popular biography about them. So now let's have the next one. So we have the literary biography. So the literary biography uh, is defined simply by Cristina Pantoa Hidalgo, foremost practitioner of creative nonfiction in the Philippines, as a narrative of the life of a literary writer written by another, another literary writer. Like for example, sa isa ka literary writer, especially to mga sikat na literary writer, ang ilang life is also is being narrate, narrated by another literary writer. Like for example, patay na ni siyang uh, si literary writer A is patay na and then he is or he or she will be or ang yahang life will be written by another literary writer. So that is what we call literary biography. Okay, that is an example of literary bi biography. Now, on the other hand, guys, we have the historical biography. Yung say, kalainan nila. Katuga nina, si literary biography, ang yahang ginasulat is ang life sa isa ka literary writer. O ang nagsulat ana is another literary writer. So, on the other hand, a historical biography may be defined as a narrative of the existence of a historical figure written by another writer, usually a historian. So, katuganina, it's literary writer, karun, historian. So, si historical biography is uh, written by a literary writer or a writer itself, pero ang life na iyang ginasulat is isaka historian. Okay? Who is interested not only in the personal circumstances and historic events that have shaped his or her subject, but also on how his or her subject has shaped history in return. Labi na katong mga sikat jud nga mga historian o gishape jud nila ang history. Like for example, nila Aristotle, Plato. So those are mga historians na to nga pwede po isulat ang ilahang life to another a historian or another writer or even a literary writer. 
So both the literary biographer and the historical biographer guys are more concerned in telling the truth than the popular biographer. So most likely guys, ang ato ang literary biographer o historical biographer mao gine sila anaga or nagasik sila og uh, truth sa ano sa kinabuhi gid atong literary biographer og kinabuhi sa si sakay historian it is because uh, they want it to be a pattern for the future generation mm, mas ano ni siya mas katuohan kaysa sa popular biographer <clears throat> So the former in sharing poetic tru truths, the latter in revealing historical facts. So, ang isa si literary biographer, yang gusto nga i-share is the poetic truths. So, giyun sa niya nga na siya mga nindot ka ay nga mga literary priest. And then, we also have for the latter or the historical biographer, gusto niya i-reveal ang mga Tama nga historical facts. So, dili ni siya basta basta because you need to have evidences like pictures or documents nga na patunay nga mga gina siya ang naitabo sa iyahang life. Now, let's go to the next one. Let's have the profile. So, according to Peter P. Jacobi, cities can be profiled. So, even bisagunsa pa na nga mga cities can be profiled. Like, for example, I will be authored or I will be profiling Tagum City from 1990s to 2020. So, unsa ang Unsa ang Tagum City ato? Unsa ang street sa Tagum City ato? Or na ba mga street nga wala pa ato na mungna? So, that is for profiling. So, can streets, so can buildings, so can institutions, like for example, uh, institutions sa lailahi nga mga malls or institutions sa lailahi nga mga hospitals, banko. So, uh, maybe they just exist in the latter or in the latter years, like 2000, 2009, just like that. And then, ang uban, bagulang na mugna nga mga institutions so maybe our school just like that so a profile guys recreates the subject so he recreates na to ang subject so meaning unsa ang tagom way back 1900s unsa ang tagom way back 1990s so so it means we are going to recreate the subject in the past in this year and then recreate the subject in the previous years until now. So make it come alive on paper. So meaning dapat how jud kay kaani mo sulat or you are very creative in writing because you are going to uh, make it alive sa mga sa mga readers, sa utok sa mga reader as they read it, they will really picture out what is Tagum City in 1900s just like that. And then you need also to give the subject shape and meaning. So dapat na ashay Iyahang shape, iyahang meaning causes us as readers to meet the and know that subject. So, na to ma, ano yun na to ma realize and na to yung ma tanawan sa to ang panghuna-huna kung unsa ang kana siya nga lugar sa una. So, maybe that city, that institution, that person. So, shorter than a full-length biography ang profile. So, mas mubu ang profile kaysa sa full-length biography. So, profile is kind of biographical narrative that normally concentrates on a single aspect of the featured person's life. Although some background information of his or her origins is included, the profile for the most part focuses on the circumstances and events that have been featured person important and or famous. So the best example of profile as a literary genre is Latin stretches eminent Victorian. So naani siya link guys sa ako ang ipasang uh, soft copy. So please try to read about Bartleby. Okay? Or this is the literary genre, uh, Latin stretches eminent Victorians. So maunin siya ang example sa profile. Okay? So always remember, profile is mas mubu siya kaysa sa full-length biography. And then, kailangan haud ka ani magsulat is because you are going to make alive or come alive on paper 
or gives the subject shape and meaning and then causes us as reader to meet and know that subject, that city, that institution, and that person. So may laila na nila pinagi sa imuhang creative writing. Now, let's go to the next one. So we have this character sketch. What's that in character sketch? So a character sketch, guys, is a form of biographical narrative that is shorter than a profile. So meaning mas taas si full length biography, sunod si profile, sunod si character sketch. Kasi si character sketch is mas shorter than a profile. So like a visual sketch or a pen and ink drawing, the character sketch can be described as a cameo or miniature or miniature life story. So meaning gipagamay siya. As a literary subgenre, the character sketch has a long history whose origins can be traced back to ancient China, where Sema Quan, in his Shinchi historical records, featured highly animated character sketches. So, katul, labi na na ka na feature of kanang animated character sketches. That is also example of character sketch. Brief but full of anecdotes and dialogue and arranged according to character uh, types like the rash generals, the malign statement, uh, and the assassins. So, gi-ano po na siya gi, uh, gi arrange according to character type. For example, ang katong uh, character nga kani siya nga grupo or pamilya sa mga nagdala or pamilya sa mga generals or general or pamilya sa mga statement, or mga pamilya sa mga assassins. So that is character sketch. So for more example, try to see the link for the character sketch. I will be uh, giving you the soft copy for our topic. Now let's go to the last one. So the last one is interview story. So di ba nga to ang mga manghod, ato ang mga uh, igagaw, nga mas, ano, mas ba ma baby pa or ka na mga bata pa, they really like to interview. Like, unsa day na, unsa day na. Like, they have a lot of questions about you and your life. So, the interview story, guys, is a kind of biographical narrative, the length of a typical newspaper or magazine article. So, kwan lang siya. Ang interview story, guys, ano lang siya, kaparehas lang siya o length sa typical newspaper or magazine article. Like the profile and the character sketch, it zeroes in on one particular facet of the featured person's life. <clears throat> but unlike the other two short biographical narratives <clears throat> that require some research, so katong duha ka biographical narratives, kinanglan magito siya research, it is because it should be uh, based on evidences, pictures, and documents na imo ang mapakita. At least a couple of interviews, the interview story can be product of just one meeting between the writer. So kinanglan na ay meeting or interview good or mag-meet good face-to-face ang <coughs> interviewer o ang interviewee. Okay? So most likely, daghan ka niya sa kanang mga kaan. Uh, soap, uh, soap opera, sa mga uh, news, sa kanang ilahad yung gina-interview is labi na ng kanang uh, mga life sa taong uh, from scratch or from rugs to riches, just like that. So most likely, that is one uh, biography which is also called an interview story. Okay. Pero mubo lang siya. Typical newspaper lang siya or magazine article ang iyahang length. Okay, so that is the interview story. So I will be giving the soft copy of this uh, lesson. So please try to read and view the example about the interview story, which is the journalism or the example of interview story. So thank you so much to the Shans for having this class. So I hope you learn a lot from our lesson today. So if you do have any questions, try to type down your questions in the comment section below and type down 
everything that you have learned from our lesson today, type it down in, uh, in our comment section. So that would be all. Always do your best and always remember to make your parents proud and answer the following assessments. Let's go to the assessments. See you again, guys. Bye.